Okay, this video covers the revenue recognition complication of free on board, or FOB. And this relates to uh, companies that sell products and ship those products from their location or warehouse to the customer's location. So here's, let's pretend we're the company selling the goods. Here's our warehouse, and we're delivering the package to the UPS truck. The UPS truck drives to the customer's house or to the customer's location. The question with this complication is when should we recognize the revenue? Should we recognize the revenue when we load the product onto the uh, shipping truck or whatever? Or should we recognize the revenue only when the product arrives at the customer's location? This is going to be determined by a contract. So here are the details. Free on board or FOB is determined by contract. It'll be explicitly stated in the contract when, uh, when, when risk of loss is transferred from the uh, seller to the buyer. What is risk of loss? Risk of loss means if the product um, goes up in flames and is destroyed, who is responsible for that product? Who owns it? Um, and that will be determined by the contract. And that determines, that is the performance obligation. That determines when the selling company can recognize revenue. So there are two different options here. FOB shipping, sometimes it's called FOB shipping point. That's when the performance obligation is satisfied when the product is shipped. So once, we, once the uh, product leaves the warehouse, the selling company can recognize revenue. They've satisfied their performance obligation. They don't have the risk of loss. They don't really care what happens to the product after that. From an accounting perspective, they don't care. FOB destination point, you can't recognize revenue until the product arrives at the customer's location. So those are the two different uh, terminologies that are used. So let's kind of exercise our knowledge of these two options. And we'll do it using an example that happened back in 2003 with a company called BioVail. BioVail sells pharmaceuticals, and they'll, so they'll, um, they'll manufacture the pharmaceuticals, they'll put it on a truck and ship it to a customer. And in their third quarter, they didn't do very well in the third quarter of 2003. And what did they attribute this bad performance to? Well, here's what they said. They said a truck accident reduced third quarter revenue by 10 to $20 million. So a product was being shipped to the customer, there was a truck accident, and it affected revenue by 10 to $20 million. Let's take a look at the details of the shipment and exercise our knowledge of FOB shipping point and destination point. So here's the, the delivery plan. Their manufacturing place is up here in Winnipeg, uh, Canada. So that's where the product is going to start from. And it was shipped on September 3rd, 2003. September 30th, 2000, sorry, September 30th, 2003 is when the product was shipped. September 30th is the last day of the third quarter. So the very next day is going to be October 1st. That's the first day of the fourth quarter. So, this, so they said this truck accident affected Q3 revenue. It's going from Winnipeg, Canada, and it's going to North, somewhere in North Carolina. So that's where the truck is going. And here's what happened. So they went south through Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, and the truck accident happened just south of Chicago. And the truck accident happened on October 1st, so the first day of the fourth quarter. So let's ev now, now that we know the details of the shipment, let's evaluate this statement. But first, let's clarify to ourselves what is FOB shipping point and destination point. FOB shipping point means that right when the product left the warehouse on September 30th, the risk of loss transferred to the customer in North Carolina. And you can recognize revenue. Uh, the BioVail could recognize revenue as soon as it left the warehouse. That's FOB shipping point. FOB destination point would be the product needs to reach the customer's warehouse in North Carolina before BioVail can recognize that revenue. So first let's assume it was FOB shipping point because that's the most obvious way it could affect third quarter revenue. So if this shipment was FOB shipping point, BioVail would have recognized the revenue as soon as it left the warehouse on September 30th, the last day of the third quarter. And the risk of loss transfers to the customer. So they care for the 
truck driver's well-being, but from an accounting perspective, they don't care whether the truck makes it there on time. They've recognized, they've satisfied their performance obligation, they can recognize revenue on September 30th. So in the FOB shipping point, the, this could not really affect third quarter revenue. BioVail can recognize that revenue no matter if there's a truck accident or not. They can recognize the revenue as soon as it leaves the warehouse on September 30th. So that statement can't be true if it's FOB shipping point. What if it's FOB destination point? Well, FOB destination, the company can't recognize revenue until the product arrives at the customer on October 3rd. So they were never going to recognize that revenue during Q3 to begin with. A truck that leaves Canada on September 30th simply cannot be delivered to North Carolina before the end of the third quarter. The, the truck will get there on October 3rd. That revenue was never going to be in third quarter revenue. And so here we've kind of exercised our knowledge of FOB shipping and destination, and we come to the conclusion that this explanation for Q3 revenue couldn't possibly be correct. So now let's uh, go through an example of Amazon. Uh, you might be interested, you know, many of you probably order Amazon products, so you might be interested, hey, who has the risk of loss for those products while they're in shipment? And it's kind of a nuanced disclosure that Amazon provides. So this is provided in the revenue recognition footnote of Amazon's financial statements. And they say, revenues recognized when control of the goods is transferred to the customer, which is what we've been talking about. But when is control of the goods transferred to the customer? Well, this generally occurs upon our delivery to a third-party carrier. So somehow they've worked it out so that the third-party carrier has the risk of loss of this product. So if the product is destroyed while, for example, FedEx is delivering an Amazon product to your home, if the product is destroyed, uh, FedEx is probably on the hook for that um, destruction. And so generally, Amazon recognizes revenue when they deliver it to a third-party carrier. But Amazon also delivers a lot of their own product. You've probably seen lots of Amazon vans going around your neighborhoods. So when Amazon is the carrier, so Amazon is doing the entire delivery process, in that case, it's FOB destination point. So when uh, it's an Amazon delivery, when the product is delivered to the customer is when they recognize revenue. So it's a bit of a nuanced accounting policy for Amazon. But this paragraph here is all about FOB shipping and destination terms. So finally, just to recap, free on board or FOB, those are explicit details that should be determined by a contract. These aren't determined by an accountant. The accountant reads the contract and determines when to recognize revenue. So there are two terms. There's shipping point and destination point. Shipping point is when you can recognize revenue when the product leaves the uh, seller's warehouse. And destination, FOB destination, is when the seller recognizes revenue only when, it's, when the product is delivered to the customer.